Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading, where we dive in and see what spirit has to share through the cards. I'm using tarot again, the Light Seers Tarot today. And let's see what spirit has to share as we step into the weekend. It's been a very interesting week, but very empowering through reflection. Lots of swords energy coming through with the emotional landscape. We saw the king and queen of swords. Uh, we saw the tower, but we saw like empowerment. And that's what I really like. So curious to see what spirit wants to share. Now, I do want to say that I do read very mediumistically. So some of the messages that I'll bring through in the cards may not be the direct um, explanation you would read in the guidebook. But again, I always default to my guides because they bring through the more pertinent message at the time. All right. <clears throat> so let's see what spirit has to say. Okay, beautiful. Four cards. Okay. So what I have here is we have the five of wands. The sun, which is literally the best card in the deck. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. The two of wands and judgment. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the five of wands, first of all, speaks to how hard you have been working. This can represent conflict. This can also represent competition. But what I'm getting is how hard you have been working. If you see these people, right? This is all the, the no, these are different people. But the way I'm getting it right now is this is the journey that you have taken to be the person at the top with that fire. And remember yesterday we had the King of Wands spirit of saying, take the energy of the King of Wands and go forward, let go of the past. This is that guy reaching that King of Wands type energy up there. So it's kind of like really recognizing how far you have come. A five is a beautiful number for change. So that's a really powerful energy. And when it's supported by the sun as its following card, it's amplifying the positivity in here. So that's why I'm really excited by that. So this sun is saying like, look how far you've come. You're doing great. Keep going. Now is the time for you to start making some serious choices moving forward. Not necessarily choices going, uh, releasing stuff from your past, but this is now forward movement. And we see that in the two of wands here. So if you see this lady is holding one of the wands specifically, meaning She's already pretty much chosen which direction she's going. And at the bottom here, there's a globe and there's um, like a VW bus with some, with a surfboard on it. Like she's ready to explore and travel. She knows the direction. She's looking in that direction. So this is saying grab hold of the wand that you have chosen because you feel it within. It is sparking. It is on fire. It is your passion. Choose that and move forward. And as you do, you will have the ability to release any judgment that is holding you back. You see how within this person's heart space, their soul is really flying out in expression and freedom and freedom to journey and be. That's what this is asking you. Because through everything that you've gone through and the reflection that you're in now, you're in this forward momentum stage, this beautiful forward momentum stage. This is fantastic. You definitely want to take advantage of this energy. So See how you can really hone in on the things that you want to do now. That might be relationship-based. Maybe you're taking a bold step and actually putting yourself out there. Or maybe you're deciding to travel again now because we can, right? Maybe that's your sense of freedom and adventure. Maybe for you, you are willing to finally voice your thoughts on something or stand up for who you are, whether that be within your community or your family. Or maybe for you, it's you're ready to completely start something entirely new. Going back to the drawing board, what does my soul want? Well, this is what it wants, and this is what I'm going to do. New creative pursuits. There's so many things that this could apply to, but this is positive, beautiful energy for you in your movement forward. So going into the weekend with this kind of energy, that's a great weekend, I got to say. So I really hope that helps inspire you guys to feel some um, pride in who you are like really giving yourself a pat on the back, like be, be uh, amazed with your growth and give yourself that credit. Sometimes we're so quick to credit somebody else, but when it comes to us, we're like, no, no, it's okay. No, no, no. It doesn't mean we have to be boastful in how we receive it or egoistic, but we can receive it and like, yes, I did do that. 
And that made me feel really good. And I want to do more of that because that helps do this or this or spread joy or kindness. And it's this, it feeds back to you in a good way, which you can then give more. So see how that aligns with you as you go into the weekend. Enjoy the energy of this weekend of this beautiful sun frequency and this like judgment or freedom from judgment type frequency. These are very good things, you guys. So have a beautiful weekend. Uh, I will see you again on Monday. And in the meantime, if you're wanting to dive into some deeper things, check out avalonspirit.com. And as well, as always, check out the Avalon Spirit Facebook group. I'm there every day. And it's a great opportunity for you to connect with me and all the others on Avalon. So you guys have a beautiful weekend.